Well, hello, uh, Control Trends community. It's Ken Smyers again. I'm with Bill Duffelberger from Blue Ridge Technology. Bill, uh, great show so far. Tell us what Blue Ridge Technology does. Unified Lighting Control. We build lighting control systems for the building automation system. Great stuff. And uh, tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I've been spent almost 30 years in the HVAC side of the controls and the last 10 years in the lighting control domain. So, and as a contractor, I have a decade in there. Well, I can, I can uh, give a testament that Bill is a true expert when it comes to lighting. We've uh, used Bill's okay. expertise on many occasions, and we look forward to using Blue Ridge technology more in the future. Bill, you got some new things you want to show us. I do. We've been going down a path of making things more modular and scalable and addressing the granularity issue within zones and uh, building controls. Well, that's why you differentiate. Your United uh, Lighting Control is a, is a different approach towards an age-old problem of really getting maximum efficiency out of your lighting. Tell us about that. Well, the difference, our, what's different about Blue Ridge Technologies is we approach it from a building automation system perspective. And you say, well, what does that mean? And it's from one, one network, we believe we're big backnet proponents, so one network, one service provider, one front end. So if you have a favorite tool, be it here, we're here at the Niagara Summit, so if you have your favorite Tritium product, then you have the tools and your, your front end and your train. You don't need to learn something else to be able to put your lighting domain under it. So that's what unified lighting's all about, is having one system, one network. What we do a little bit differently is, from traditional lighting control, the companies who sell lighting fixtures and controls for them, is that they approach it from the bottom up. That's not a bad approach. approach you always got to approach from the zone and the people. Unfortunately, when you design your product, if you design that way, you're not thinking about networking. Okay, and building automation companies were born to network from top down. So if I, I know that my competitors, they have good products, they're good folks, they're smart, the problem comes in when you want to aggregate up. When you want to go from Kenny's office and Bill's office to the sales suite, to the next floor, to this campus, that's where things get a little dicey and the tools and the expense build up. We really, we're, we're building on that infrastructure and that knowledge and expertise from known controls experts. So that's our difference. Well, that's really good stuff. Uh, Bill, let's take a look at your new products. Okay, we were talking earlier a little bit about, talking about scalability, okay? So we look over here to our right, and this is what we call our B, B box. I know it's real original, but it starts out, and if you think of things in terms of relays, so it starts at four relays, and then because it's modular, it can go to 256 relays, if that's what you need. And if you look over here to the left, you can see this is, its, this is an exponent. This is four relays, and four analog outs, and eight universal inputs. This new product line not only scale, we like, we're, we're trying to come up, it's not official yet, we're calling this the M cubed product line. It's modular from physicality, electronics, and application. Same tool set, same electronics, just how big a bat box or a bag do you need to put your control in? That's another difference, a big difference from traditional lighting control that's, uh, Really, there's two schools of thought right now. Do I need control at every fixture, at every device, or do I need control at a room level or a channel level? And the difference is, is how much networking do you want to do and how many nodes do you want to keep track of? So, I mean, it's up in the air. It's anybody's, you guys are going to answer this, not me, but we're, we believe the granularity is much like it is in HVAC, where Think of it as an equipment level. It's not at an economizer, uh, cooling coil, heat coil, heating coil, 
uh, fan, they're not separate systems. It's a it's controlled as a piece of equipment, and that's really the way lighting control should be delivered at the zone room level. All right, Bill, show us some more. All right, so we get outside the panels, which generally everyone likes to talk about new construction. Let's talk about your existing building, and you've got uh, some other someone other than Blue Ridge Technologies control system in typical, it typical retrofit. and you got good relay control you got some things that are working and you don't want to pay to rip all that infrastructure out just because you want it on your backnet network or you want it in your building automation system in the new modular system this module an IO module is called an RD16 this is 16 universal relay drivers now you can look at the data sheet but the brands there, they give you the big names. If you have a GE system, an RR9, or a Wattstopper, or you have an ILC, you name it, this driver can drive it. So you can do a brain transplant, and literally in two to four hours, you can be on the BACnet network. Uh, it doesn't do it all by itself. One of the things about the modular nature of this system is it's on our pluggable bus. So that's the relay driver, that's the I.O., and this is the controller. So now you got 16 relays worth of control and status inputs. And so if you need, say you got some switch inputs, then you just use a UI-16, which is that. That's 16 universal inputs. I see it. Plug very it, modular, very modular. Plug it in. And then you have a choice of power supplies, depending on what your requirements are. So I think that's a new, unique thing about us, is how much d domain or expertise on other people's products we have to maintain to be able to do this. And we do this every day. Well, that seems like a very, very good retrofit solution. Well, Bill, I'll tell you what, that's very impressive. And I, I think, uh, it, again, the experience level just manifests itself with your products. You, you know what it's all about. You know how to make it easier, better, and more efficient. So. Well done. How do, uh, how do people get a hold of Blue Ridge Technology? BRTINT.com. Get us on the web. All righty. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Bill. Thank you. All right.